Felu Novel Network Exclusive Contract Novel Let You Write Martial Arts Do You Write Naruto Biography? In the era of popular writing, Yi Yu drew a question about martial arts, but he was not very familiar with it. What should he do? Brain hole, open up. The overall situation of the world is divided and united for a long time. At the end of the Warring States period, there was a person who claimed to be the god of martial arts, named Xian Zhu Jian. He used his supreme divine skill to end the chaotic times and created the Mu Yi League, becoming the first leader of the Alliance, revered as the Fire Heavenly Lord. Other strong figures followed suit, and the martial arts world entered the era of the Five Great Allies. Sixteen years ago, one of the Nine Great Demons, the Nine-Tailed Fox, ravaged the Kiba League. The fourth generation of the Fire Heavenly Lord sealed it at the cost of his life. Subsequently, a man named Xian Naruto embarked on a journey with the dream of the Fire Heavenly Lord. Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Chapter 1 Martial Arts I'll go straight to Hokage Heroes. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Sleeping Trough, where is this place? Original Writing Competition Yi Yu woke up and looked around with a bewildered expression. Here, with a sea of people and a boisterous atmosphere, thousands of viewers and countless viewers in the live broadcast room are passionately pouring in, causing an explosion of enthusiasm. Compared to previous World Cups and Olympics, it's even crazier. Yi Yu quickly fused the memories of this life and understood that this was a grand event called the Original Writing Competition. In this world, almost all people write, and writing itself is a process of gaining power. In this world, stories are everything. And what he was selected to participate in today is the biggest annual event. After being selected from billions of people and undergoing rounds of competition, Yi Yu has finally taken this step. Arrived at the real battle scene. For a moment, thousands of people were boiling. Yi Yu was sweating profusely. Writing. I'm not good at this thing myself although I have read many idle books and comics in my past life, I have never personally written them with a pen however, after all, I have so many memories in my mind that I can simply copy them. Well, how can it be called copying when it comes to the affairs of a scholar? This is called borrowing, borrowing. Thinking of this, Yi Yu suddenly calmed down and a proud smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. At this moment, the first round of questions was announced. Exactly martial arts. For a moment, the whole room boiled again. After all, for the entire Dragon Kingdom, martial arts represent their spirit. Inherited from ancient times to the present. Wuxia. 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 All the audience, as well as countless viewers in the live broadcast room, are shouting and shouting one after another. Obviously, I am eagerly anticipating this game. But Yi Yu was once again sweating profusely. Wuxia. I haven't seen much of it. Although I know some of Jin Yong's ancient dragons in my past life, they are only scattered and many of them are TV drama clips. This is not to blame Yi Yu, after all, in this era, Jin Yong's ancient dragon is already somewhat outdated. Being replaced by various fantasy, immortal heroes, and fantasy. Yi Yu's head was as big as a bucket for a moment. And at this moment, the other contestants had already started writing like flying stars. What surprised Yi Yu even more was that those authors were able to automatically generate lifelike AI scrolls as soon as they started writing. No, it's not just a scroll, but a truly immersive virtual reality image. Sleeping slot, so high. End. I saw other authors like the divine Pen Mao Yang, gradually depicting each setting, character, and sect. On the other hand, Yi Yu was stunned and stood still, without making a single move. Wow, what's going on with this guy? Can't he write a single word? So how did he make it to the finals? By the back door, right. Isn't it easy to write about martial arts? Are you actually a dragon person? That's right, 
even if you don't know how to write anything else, can you be a martial arts hero? It's too hard to justify. Black Curtain Black Curtain RNM, Refund Just as Yi Yu was being pointed at by a thousand men, he suddenly had a sudden inspiration. Hmm. Although I don't read much about martial arts, I read a lot of comics. As long as the story characters in the manga are set in a martial arts style, won't it be able to be written smoothly? What kind of character, plot, martial arts skills, fighting, that's just something you can easily come up with. Thinking of this, Yi Yu suddenly became full of confidence again. He took out the pen in his hand and suddenly began to write down the first line of big characters. For a moment, all the spectators on the entire field, as well as billions of spectators outside, looked at Yi Yu. That guy finally started writing. I want to see what he's writing about. Ha ha ha, it must be just making up the numbers. Brothers, prepare to mock. However, at this moment, the large sum in Yi Yu's hand emitted a brilliant golden light. Writing like the wind. Speaking of the overall situation of the world, if we divide for a long time, we will unite. If we unite for a long time, we will divide. Just this line of words immediately stunned all the audience and judges. Hmm. Speaking of the overall situation of the world, if we divide for a long time, we will unite. If we unite for a long time, we will divide. This sentence. Well written. As the overall judge, it is a contemporary literary master named Yu Masheng. He originally had some disdain for Yi Yu. After all, others have been writing for a long time, and he is still hesitating, with a cold sweat on his face. However, when he saw this sentence, Yu Mo's voice immediately clapped the table and exclaimed in shock. Okay. Well written. Just this one sentence shows a deep foundation. The overall trend of the world is to divide and unite for a long time, and to unite for a long time is to divide and divide. It's like breaking through the cycle of dynasties and causal cycles that have lasted for millions of years. In this sentence, I seem to see the passage of time and the vicissitudes of history changing over time. Yi Yu, well written. For a moment, the whole scene boiled up. With just one sentence, Yu Ma Sheng was amazed. This is an unprecedented event in the history of the entire original story conference. Suddenly, both inside and outside the field, countless pairs of eyes gathered on Yi Yu, truly attracting the attention of the crowd. At this moment, Yi Yu ignored the admiration and ridicule of outsiders. He seemed to have also assimilated into the situation. I wrote the second sentence, in the chaotic era of the Warring States period, the world was dominated by numerous warlords, with constant disputes and corpses like mountains, bleeding like rafters. Martial artists from all sides, rooted in their families, fight against each other, never give up or die. That was a tragic and unimaginable period of time. All children have to be forced to fight, the number of premature deaths is incalculable, and the world is unbearable. As this scene unfolds, in front of Yi Yu's virtual reality scene, countless golden and iron horses, bloody scenes of fighting, painted in ink style, unparalleled brutality and solemnity appear. Suddenly, everyone's heart was solemn, intimidated by the brutal war. Chapter 2 Chaotic Times Twin Heroes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Yi Yu's writing style is not particularly powerful and beautiful. But what he surpasses others is that he has truly seen those tragic scenes. As long as you immerse yourself in it and record those images vividly, you have the power to shake people's hearts and empathize with them. In virtual reality scenes, ink and wash seem to carry a bloody atmosphere. A famous warrior fought to the death, forced to be coerced and forced to do so in the tide of war. For a moment, everyone seemed to have integrated into it. I also transformed into those chivalrous warriors in the tide of the times. In order to protect my family and fight for the right to survive I have to fight with blood. Even if there is a dead end ahead. Yu Ma Sheng couldn't help but sigh, 
I don't know when this tragic and chaotic world can be quelled, and I don't know which hero can bring it to an end. His words immediately resonated with everyone. Indeed as Yi Yu said, the overall situation of the world will be divided and combined for a long time. So, in this chaotic era of the Warring States period, there will eventually be someone to end it. Thinking of this, everyone began to eagerly anticipate it. Countless viewers are waiting for the appearance of that hero. At this moment. With a big stroke of his pen, Yi Yu began to depict the real characters. In this chaotic world, families stand tall and constantly engage in disputes, with two of the most powerful families among them. One of them is the Qianji family named Tian Mu Zhiqian. The other one is the Uzi family, known as the Evil Eye House. These two major families have been sworn enemies for generations. But in the constant fighting, there were two young men who were tired of the turmoil of this chaotic era and hated the sacrifices of their family members. They dreamed of creating a peaceful era without war. These two people, named Between a Thousand Pillars Achiha Suddenly, with these two words spoken, the entire arena was boiling. All the previous suppressed feelings seemed to be swept away at this moment. Especially in the grand picture of virtual reality, two legendary figures also appeared at the same time. Yumasheng smiled slightly and said, Have you finally arrived? Qian Zhu Jian, Yu Zhi Ban, although the name is a bit strange, it still meets expectations. At this moment, all the viewers are discussing more. Here we go. Who will be the hero who will end the chaotic world? One is the Qianji family named Tian Mu Zhiqian, and the other is the Uzi family named Evil Ai Yuji. From the name, it seems that one family excels in martial arts related to wood, while the other has divine arts such as evil eyes. What are the techniques related to wood? And the evil eye, isn't this a bit mystical? It's not true. In the The Nine In Manual, there is a soul absorption method that depends on the eyes to hypnotize. There are also Nia Feng's magic eyes in the wind and clouds. There are also I dot catching robberies in the four robberies of Emperor Shirtian's sacred heart. You can kill people with your eyes. As for the divine arts related to wood, there are also quite a few, right? The record of washing flowers and sword contains the dead with divine skill. Dot. Dong Xie Huang Yao Shi corresponds to the direction of Dong Fang Yimu, and his cultivation of falling eagle divine sword palm and orchid brush cave hand are all related to flowers, plants, and trees. Besides, it's normal for traditional martial arts to have been written for so long, even if it's a bit mystical. I remember in Shanghai, there is the Six Voids technique of Zhou Lu, which can control various natural forces such as heaven, earth, wind, thunder, water, fire, mountains, and rivers. You're right. You're off topic. Guess who these two people will end this chaotic era of the Warring States period first? I guess it's Uchiha. He looks even more imposing. Impossible. The Evil Eyes family sounds like villains, they must be the true heroes who practice the wooden martial arts Qian Zhu Jian. Dot. With everyone's discussion, Yi Yu's exclusive live broadcast room instantly surged in popularity and quickly reached the forefront of all participants. Especially, the attention of the overall judge of the competition and literary master Yu Masheng has made everyone hold unparalleled expectations for Yi Yu. And Yi Yu, at this moment, was immersed in it and unable to extricate himself. Ignoring these external noises. His large sum continued to be waived. Qian Zhu Jian and Yu Zhi Ban, although they are enemies of the world, are deeply intertwined and share the same aspirations. Unfortunately, by chance, during the brothers' fight, Yuji Ban's younger brother Yuji Quan unfortunately died, causing the two to turn against each other and start another war. Everyone was immediately filled with regret. As the chaotic world was about to end, how could there be any twists and turns again? Yu Masheng smiled and said, This is the norm in the world. If everything goes smoothly, what else is writing called? Why not just go ahead and write fairy tales? 
Moreover, the two families have been feuding for generations, and it would be unrealistic to easily erase them. Yi Yu continues to be a faithful recorder and witness of history. Due to the death of his younger brother, Yu Ban's temperament changed greatly, but instead, he achieved great success in his evil eye skills. Therefore, he swore to seek revenge and never give up with the Qianji family. However, Qian Zhu Jian is also a martial arts genius who has cultivated a unique and powerful Tianmu great technique in the world. The two fought fiercely, with the sky and earth shattering and the sun and moon shining brightly. However, in the end, Qian Zhu Jian still had a slight advantage and defeated Yu Ban. Qian Zhu Jian's younger brother, Qian Fei Jian was supposed to kill Yu Ban to prevent future troubles, but was stopped by Qian Zhu Jian. He doesn't want the hatred of generations to continue. So, sparing Uchimoto's life, even when Uchimoto suggested that unless he died, he could eliminate the hatred of his younger brother's death, Chizuma did not hesitate to choose suicide. For a moment, the entire arena was once again boiling. UMO sighed and said, Among the thousands of pillars, there is great benevolence and righteousness, with the demeanor of a great hero. He knew he could kill his archenemy, but he chose to let go and was willing to sacrifice his own death in exchange for Uchiha's forgiveness and reconciliation between the two aristocratic families. He is truly a great hero. Chapter 3 Popularity First The heat is on the charts. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. What? Qian Zhu Jian clearly won, but he didn't kill himself. He still wants to commit suicide on his own. This is too much of a madness, isn't it? Mercy towards the enemy is cruelty towards oneself. Hey, I can't say that. Even if he kills Yuji Ban, there will still be another Yuji Ban to avenge him. When will the retribution last like this? That's right, Qian Zhu Jian's dream is to end the chaotic world, not to rely on continuous killing to continue hatred and war. His approach is right, but it's just too regrettable. Ah! Qian Zhu Jian won't just die like this, will he? Impossible! Only he can end the chaotic world, how could he possibly die like this? But he has already committed suicide. At this moment of widespread attention and discussion, Yi Yu suddenly changed his pen. In that moment, Yu Ban finally understood the chest and demeanor of Qian Zhu Jian. He knows that Qian Zhu Jian is a great hero who truly wants to end the chaotic world. His sacrifice was not just a pretense. In order to end the hatred between the two families and end the flames of war in the chaotic world, he was willing to be the first person to shed blood and sacrifice. At the same time, Yu Ban also thought of their youth. At that time, the two were full of energy and had the same dream. However, Qian Zhu Jian had been sticking to his beliefs, but he had already given up. So, Uchiha suddenly grabbed Qian Zhu's hand and prevented his suicide. On the screen. Bang! The figure of Yuji Ban instantly blocked the sword in Qian Zhu Jian's hand. This scene is exciting. Everyone cheered and jumped with joy. Not only because there is no need to die again between the thousand pillars. More importantly, it represents that the two people have finally reached a reconciliation. Representing the chaotic era of the Warring States period, the hope of peace has finally arrived. Yuji Ban understood the determination between Qian Zhu and the two truly ushered in a moment of reconciliation. At the same time, as the family chiefs, the two finally put an end to thousands of years of hatred and fighting. In times of chaos, the two most powerful families have officially formed allies. This is a historic moment. With the alliance of the two individuals and the two families, the dreams of Qian Zhu Jian and Yu Ji Ban during their youth have finally come true. They have created their own paradise in the dense forest plain. And name it. Mu Yi Meng. In addition to the Qianji family and the Uzi family, there are also families such as the Bai Mao Xiang family, the Yuan family of the Ape King, and the Oil family of the Gububu, all of which have joined and merged into the Mu Yi League, allowing it to rapidly develop and grow, 
becoming the largest force in chaotic times. In this with Leaf Alliance, major families no longer fight for profit, sharing blessings and facing difficulties together, becoming the beginning of ending the chaotic era. In other parts of the world, powerful individuals and families have also followed suit and established the Fog Hidden Alliance, Rock Hidden Alliance, Sand Hidden Alliance, and Cloud Hidden Alliance. The chaotic era of the Warring States period officially came to an end, and history has entered. The Era of the Five Great Allies Yi Yu wrote that the entire arena has been intimidated and attracted by the vast worldview, compact plot and schedule, and exciting character relationships he has set up. Especially, as Qian Zhu realized his dream and ended the chaotic era, everyone applauded and cheered. Yu Masheng also sighed and said, Heroes emerge from chaotic times. Although the times make heroes, heroes also lead the times. Qian Zhu Jian was able to end the chaotic world not only because of his strong martial arts skills and profound moral conduct, but more importantly, because of his great benevolence and righteousness, as well as his boundless responsibility of treating world peace as his own. Such a person is truly admirable. Yu Masheng's words also expressed everyone's feelings. With the admiration of Yu Masheng and the frenzy of all the audience, Yi Yu's popularity and popularity officially surpassed everyone else, instantly rising to the true top position. First place. The name of Yi Yu has spread throughout the entire Dragon Kingdom and even the whole world with his writing style. After all, other contestants, although they start writing early, will find that they are not prepared enough as they write. Either the worldview structure is not well done, or the character design is not well planned, or the subsequent plot is not prepared, quickly falling into a bottleneck and unable to move forward. But Yi Yu is different. Although he started writing the latest, his works are the most magnificent and have the most rigorous and complete worldview, reasonable plot twists, and deeply touching characters. So it is reasonable and well deserved for Yi Yu to become the most popular person. And everyone is also waiting at this moment for the story to happen next. It can be said that it is truly eagerly anticipated and eagerly anticipated by countless people. Chapter 4 Ending the Valley Battle You are listening at NovelFull.audio Yi Yu's writing touches the hearts of all millions of viewers. But his subsequent writing style made everyone even more anxious. After the establishment of the My League, it rapidly developed and grew, finally bringing an end to the chaotic era. However, within the Kiba League, there are two voices. That's the question of who should take on the role of the first person, the martial arts leader of the Mu Yi League. Naturally, the Qianji family, along with many other families, strongly supported Qian Zhu Jian as the first leader of the Martial Arts Alliance, and he was indeed well received. But he wants to give up this position to Yuzabin. Unfortunately, heaven did not follow people's wishes. Even within a thousand pillars, he could not resist the public opinion. In the end, he became the first martial arts leader of the Mu Yi League and was revered as Fire Heavenly Sovereign. And due to this matter, Yu Ban once again developed a rift in his relationship with Qian Zhu. In the end, it finally reached an increasingly intense level, and Yu Zibin wanted the Uzi family and himself to leave the Mu Yi League together, completely breaking away from Qian Zhu. However, the Uzi family was accustomed to a peaceful and stable life, and surprisingly gave up Uzi Ban, the clan leader, and chose to stay in the Kiba League. Uzi Ban could only leave alone. For a moment, everyone was in an uproar and couldn't help but sigh. Yumo's voice also sighed, this Yuji Ban is also too arrogant. In fact, the position of the leader of the alliance is well received among the thousands of pillars. Even if he wants to decline, he cannot push it away. Why bother? A close friend who used to share the same aspirations, went their separate ways again over this matter, which is truly touching. Countless viewers also agreed. In fact, you can tell from the choices of other Uji families that Qian Zhu Jian is the right one. After all, you are used to peaceful life. Who would follow you to wander the world and start a life of licking blood on the tip of a knife again? Yeah, even if it's martial arts or the martial arts world, 
no one can stand the life of fighting and striving every day. Yuji Ban made a mistake in this move, what a pity. Yi Yu still ignored the external reactions. Years later, the Mu Yi League has grown and prospered, with major families enjoying peace and each becoming stronger. But at this moment, Uchiha suddenly returned to the Kiba League and was going to have the final life and death battle with Chizuma. Suddenly, the entire venue was boiling again. Ah ah, this is the final battle, isn't it? Two former close friends, and like dot-minded comrades in arms, why did they end up like this? This is the so dot called, different ways do not conspire with each other. There's no way. Isn't Yuzuban's actions going against his dreams and beliefs back then? Indeed, even though my dream has already been realized, why do I have to personally destroy it? Is it just for the position of the original leader? I don't think so. Yuzuban is not that shallow person either. I think he must have some deeper purpose. The author didn't say it here, I'm afraid he wanted to leave a foreshadowing. Let's not say anything about foreshadowing, this battle will definitely be very exciting. Yumashing nodded and smiled, indeed, even I am looking forward to it. Yi Yu certainly lived up to expectations and immediately depicted the scene of this battle. The evil eye divine power of Yuji Ban has not only reached the highest level of cultivation, but has also transformed into the eternal Wanhua magic eye. He has also tamed one of the nine major demon beasts in the world, and is also the most powerful one among them its name is, Nine-Tailed Demon Fox. He used the power of the eternal Wanhua magic eye to manipulate and control the nine-tailed fox, forcing him to fight alongside him, facing the martial arts leader of the Mu Yi League, the first fire heavenly lord between a thousand pillars. At this moment, Qian Zhu Jian is already recognized as the world's top expert. Even revered as the god of martial arts by the entire martial arts world. So, Yuji Ban has only been practicing in seclusion for many years, even using the power of the eternal magic eye to control the nine-tailed fox and fight together, only then can he have some confidence in winning. However, on the day the decisive battle broke out, Uchiha finally understood that he still underestimated Qian Zhu Jian. At this moment, among the thousands of pillars, not only has the heavenly wood great dharma been cultivated to the highest level, but also the rumored fairyland has been refined. That is a terrifying force that only exists outside the world of warriors and is known as one of the three sacred places on earth, with a power even greater than that of martial arts. Between the thousand pillars, the heavenly wood technique was combined with the power of immortality to create the supreme divine skill that dominates the heavens and the earth. Its name is Immortal Wood Divine Skill. Thousand Handed to Thagata. Wanfo Chaozong. This move has the terrifying power of burning the sky, boiling the sea, and destroying the earth. Even with the eternal magic eye of Uchiha and the power of the most terrifying demon beast in the world, the nine tailed demon fox, they were ultimately defeated by Qian Zhu Jian. In this battle, the sky and earth were shattered, the mountains were devastated, the river was cut off, and the entire terrain was changed by the two of them using their divine skill of covering food, creating a deep and bottomless valley that later generations called the Valley of Ending. And this battle, also known as End the Valley Battle. Chapter 5 The Law of Heaven and Earth The Integration of Gods and Demons You are listening at NovelFull.audio the final battle of the valley described by Yi Yu does not have all the details. However, with just a few words, the two unparalleled powerhouses have been fully portrayed. What level of battle is this? The true destruction of heaven and earth. The eternal power of the Wanhua magic eyes of Uchiha, combined with the most powerful and terrifying monster in the world, the nine-tailed demon fox's side-by-side -side combat, but still cannot defeat the power of the Thousand Pillars. It can be imagined to what extent the Thousand Pillars are powerful at this moment. Especially his immortal wood divine skill. Thousand Handed to Thagata. Wanfo Chaozong. With this move, the audience in the entire venue and all live broadcast rooms were boiling with passion, and an unprecedented surge of enthusiasm erupted in an instant. 
Among the thousands of pillars, surprisingly, with unparalleled divine skills, combined with the rumored fairy arts spread in the Holy Land, the entire terrain was directly transformed, earth-shattering. That vast and sacred giant Buddha, spanning over a thousand kilometers, overlooks heaven and earth, and all sentient beings. In compassion, it also contains unparalleled power to destroy the world. The eternal Wanhua demon eyes of Uzi Ban have reached the pinnacle of cultivation, creating the heavenly and earth dharma phase. Martial Art God Zun Even, he fused his heavenly and earth dharma, martial arts god Zun, and the power of the nine-tailed demon fox into one. Covering the terrifying body of the nine-tailed demon fox with the laws of heaven and earth, it transformed into an unprecedented heaven and earth dharma phase. Integration of Gods and Demons The power of this move has already reached the extreme of martial arts. There used to be no such terrifying force in this world. But even so, it still cannot resist the immortal with divine skill among the thousand pillars. Thousand-handed Tathagata Wanfo Chaozong The figures of the two quickly approached. In each other's mouths, they shouted out the names of both enemies and friends, who loved and killed each other. Between a thousand pillars. Uchiha. In an instant, the strongest killing move of the two hit one place with a loud bang, exploding like a storm. The endless palm of the giant Buddha, like the punishment of the gods and the anger of the Buddha, poured down wildly and burst out. Boom boom. Boom boom. Bang. Yuji Ban's face suddenly changed, and he watched helplessly as his heavenly, heavenly, and magical aspects, as well as the integration of gods and demons, were blasted open by the opponent's giant Buddha Chiencho. Peel off layer by layer, one by one. In the end, even the nine-tailed demon fox was completely exposed and forced to endure the crazy beating of the thousand-armed Tathagata and the ten-thousand Buddha sect. This so dot called most powerful monster in the world seems to be just a pet in the eyes of Uchiha and Xianzhu this scene deeply shook everyone. But this is not the end. After defeating the combination of heaven and earth, as well as gods and demons, Xianzhu Jian made a decisive decision and immediately activated his other divine skill, which was enough to suppress and seal all the power of demons and evil forces. Its name is Zen Demon Slayer. This move seems to be the other side of the Buddha. Not much killing power. It looks very gentle, even without any strength, light and leisurely. There are no moves either. It seems as if the palm was just covering the head of the nine-tailed demon fox. However, there is a hidden but it is the compassionate power of Buddhism, Taoism, and Zen Buddhism, which use the supreme Dharma and Zen teachings to save all beings and subdue demons and demons. As soon as this move was used, the nine-tailed demon fox, which had just been raging and raging, was immediately suppressed and sealed off all its demonic power. The blood-red color in its eyes, controlled by the eternal Wanhua magic eyes, gradually disappeared. Between the thousand pillars, with the help of the Zen demon's subduing hand, Yujiban's control over the nine-tailed demon fox was severed. Subsequently, the power of this move was maximized, and with the power of the Supreme Compassionate Buddha, it temporarily suppressed the demonic and violent energy inside the nine-tailed demon fox, causing him to fall into a deep sleep in an instant. So far. This battle has completely reached a turning point. Qian Zhu Jian is known as the top expert in the world. Although Yu Ban is arrogant and conceited, he also knows that he may not be the enemy of Qian Zhu alone. So he controlled the nine-tailed demon fox with the eternal magic eyes. However, now his strongest killing move, the combination of heaven, earth, magic, and gods, has also been shattered, and the nine-tailed demon fox has been directly subdued and fallen asleep by the Zen demon subduing hand. It can be said that I have already lost the momentum. However, what kind of person is Yuzabin? Even in this desperate situation, he remained fearless at all, but instead rose up even more, roaring and launching a fierce attack towards Qian Zhu once again. And among the thousands of pillars, there is no way out this time. In order to protect the Mu Yi alliance, to protect all allies, family, 
and martial arts colleagues, he had no other choice. Qian Zhu Jian, with the same roar, launched a counterattack towards Yu Ban. At this point, everyone in the entire venue has been deeply shocked by Yi Yu. Especially in that scene, the strongest battle between these two peerless powerhouses and peak experts left everyone stunned and completely dumbfounded. How magnificent this is! How majestic this is! Yu Ma Sheng couldn't help but marvel. Okay, okay. Imagination is boundless, vast and magnificent. The characters' martial arts moves seem to reflect their own personalities, perfect and flawless, this is truly perfect and flawless. I haven't seen such a passionate battle for many years. Even Yu Ma Sheng said so, not to mention the shock in the hearts of other viewers. At this moment, all millions of people are holding their breath and staring at Yi Yu, waiting for the final outcome of this battle. Looking for a flower ticket. Chapter 6 Extraordinary Talents You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sleeping Trough, what kind of divine skill is this? The eternal magic eyes of Uchiha, reaching the pinnacle of cultivation, can unleash such terrifying power. This heaven and earth dharma aspect, the martial arts god Zun, is also too handsome. Not only that, but after merging with the nine-tailed demon fox, the combination of heaven and earth, as well as the integration of gods and demons, is his peak form, right? Indeed, this pussy is really towering to the sky. However, isn't this a bit too surreal? Even some kind of monster has appeared. You don't understand anything. Martial arts novels are originally fantasy themes, and it's normal to innovate based on the previous ones. Besides, even in Jin Yong's Gu Long novels, there are many monster pets. That's it. In Jin Yong's novels, there are also white apes who teach swordsmanship, divine eagles who seek defeat alone, ice toads, red clams, giant pythons that can withstand all kinds of poison, lightning minks, sweaty horses, and even two nine-tailed spirit foxes raised by the calculating sun Ingu when she lived in seclusion in the swamp. Right, 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 and the writing style of this kind of monster and auspicious beast is also present in the wind and clouds. What kind of fire unicorn, dragon, phoenix, mysterious turtle, and so on. Men are always passionate about discussing martial arts. And this is also the eternal romance of martial arts novels. More people are admiring the power between the thousand pillars at this moment. Yuji Ban is indeed quite impressive, but unfortunately, he is still not as good as Qian Zhu Jian. The move between the thousand pillars seems to be a wooden divine skill, but after integrating immortality, it seems to have some traces of Buddhism and Taoism. Indeed, the immortal wood divine skill, the thousand armed Tathagata, and the ten thousand Buddhas Chaozong, this move is truly domineering and awe inspiring. Surprisingly, he was able to transform into a true thousand handed Tathagata, bombarding enemies with countless Buddha palms, and even shattering the unity of heaven, earth, magic, gods, and demons in Uchiha. It's amazing. This move alone is enough to destroy heaven and earth. Yeah, the battle between two people has moved the entire land and changed the terrain. I actually think that the Zen demon's subduing hand between the thousand pillars is even more powerful. Indeed, this should be a power beyond ordinary martial arts moves, right? It's a bit like hypnosis, chanting, and sealing, and you should know that the opponent is the most powerful nine-tailed demon fox among the nine great monsters in the world. Surprisingly, he was instantly subdued. Is this the strength of Qian Zhu Jian? He is truly the world's top expert and the god of martial arts. At this moment, even the host Zhao Liqiang personally spoke up. He sighed and said, in addition to the widely discussed moves themselves, what teacher Yu Ma Sheng said is actually more important, which is to reflect the character's own personality while maintaining the unparalleled divine skills of the character. Back then, Jin Yong's martial arts were all in line with his characters. Now what Yi Yu wrote is the same. For example, Yuzabun gradually deviated from his original intention and went astray. His inner demons became deeper and his obsession became heavier. 
Therefore, when he practiced the family's evil eye magic, he would gain wings like a tiger. However, in this way, he became more and more trapped on the path of the demon path. His eternal Wanhua magic eyes do seem powerful, but those blood-red pupils reflect the evil deep within him. As for the heaven and earth Dharma minister, the martial art god Zun, it is probably his obsession to compete with the thousand pillars. The fusion of the nine-tailed demon fox and the heaven and earth Dharma, as well as the integration of gods and demons, symbolizes the contradiction of Uchiha. He used to be a passionate young man like Qian Zhu Jian, with the great ambition of pacifying troubled times and creating peace, but unfortunately, he gradually lost himself and fell into the demon world later on. Yumashing smiled and said, Li Chang said it well. At the same time, we should also be able to see the reflection of one's own personality in the martial arts of Qian Zhu. His great benevolence and righteousness, compassionate heart for the benefit of the world, like Buddha, are powerful, sacred, and universal. In fact, the heavenly wood technique among the thousand pillars may seem powerful, but in our eyes, it seems that wood itself is not meant for killing. Wood represents vigorous vitality, youth, green, and hope. It can be said that it is a gentle but indestructible, always upward force. But if it were only this kind of power, I'm afraid it wouldn't be the opponent of Uchiha now. Fortunately, Qian Zhu Jian has learned a new power, which is called magic. Although it is not yet clear what kind of divinity this immortal technique and those three holy sites are, it is obvious that they also contain powerful and unparalleled power. Among the thousand pillars, it is precisely the fusion of Tianmu Dafa and the power of immortal magic, combined with one's own will, mind, temperament, encounters, obsession, and dreams, that creates one's most powerful divine skill. This is the immortal with divine skill. Thousand Arm Tathagata 10,000 Buddha's Chaozong. Of course, there is also the Zen Demon Slayer. This represents the ultimate compassion, the power to subdue demons and demons, the direction of Qian Zhu's life, his pursuit, ambition, and dreams. This battle is not just a decisive battle between Uchiha and Chikazuma. It's also a battle between Buddha and demon. It is a decisive battle for the future of the entire world. In such a short period of time, Yi Yu surprisingly came up with such a complete world structure, characters, plot, and even matched the martial arts moves that the characters reflected on each other. What a remarkable talent! Chapter 7 The final battle comes to an end. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. A legendary talent. This is the evaluation of Yi Yu, a literary master and literary magnate by Yu Ma Sheng. For a moment, not only the host Zhao Liqiang was shocked. The entire audience on site, as well as countless viewers in the live broadcast room, were also deeply moved by Yu Ma Sheng's words. You should know that Yu Ma Sheng is a true master, with lofty eyes and a bad temper. When he was young, he also fought against heaven and earth, using his pen as a knife, and fought against the world. However, now he admires Yi Yu so much. It can be imagined that Yi Yu's talent has shocked Yu Ma Sheng at this moment. Even he is like this, let alone others. Both the other participating authors and all the audience couldn't help but be shocked for a moment. Those authors felt unprecedented pressure. But for the audience, it's just inexplicable excitement. This represents that what they will appreciate will be a masterpiece, the birth of a timeless classic. In other words at this moment, they witnessed history. However. For Yi Yu, this is just the beginning. The story only reveals the tip of the iceberg. At this moment, as Yi Yu's pen strokes passed by, a new plot began. Under a full moon. Yuji Ban waved the vermilion bird fan, the heirloom of the Uzi family, with one hand, and his unique weapon, the heavenly demon scythe, with the other hand, roared and launched the final fierce attack towards Qian Zhu. And Qian Zhu Jian drew out his giant sword, launched a counterattack, and left. His giant sword is broad, square, and heavy. Without any cleverness, it can be said that the true Ape has no edge, and great craftsmanship does not work. 
two people's weapons suddenly met in mid-air. In the golden moonlight, it instantly intertwined and collided, shooting out flames. Qian Zhu suddenly stepped back and loudly said, Stop. You're just letting our past efforts go to waste by doing this. Yu Jiban sneered and said, Pillar, my eternal magic pupil, sees things far beyond you. You don't even understand what true world peace is. Qian Zhu said, but what you need to do now is to personally destroy the Mu Yi League that we work together to finally create. Because that's not my true ambition. What I want is not just Kiba League. What exactly are you looking for? You won't understand, between the pillars. No matter how ambitious you are, I will definitely fight you to the death to protect the Mu Yi League. Come on. The battle between the two reached an increasingly intense level. Unlike the previous crazy amplification moves that relied on unparalleled supernatural powers. The two of them now have fully demonstrated their profound understanding of martial arts. Fists, weapons, hidden weapons, body techniques. It's dazzling and overwhelming. Through Yi Yu's meticulous description, all viewers can clearly see this exciting and unparalleled battle. The two fought fiercely from day to night. The entire once vast and flat land has also turned into cliffs, rifts, waterfalls, and lakes. This is all due to the battle between the two of them. Finally, it seems that we have reached the end. Both of them were already in a state of exhausted oil and internal strength, each panting heavily and exhausted. However, neither of them retreated at all. One final blow. Bang. Blade to blade collision. A crisp yet cruel sound erupted. Swords and swords are like a dream. Who will fall down on earth? Who will be the one who smiles until the end while standing? The next moment. On the body between the thousand pillars, fierce blood burst forth. Subsequently, he fell to the ground with a thud, seemingly completely defeated. In the audience, the live broadcast room was filled with sighs and cries. Yu Jiban laughed heartily and said, Zhu Jian, it seems that the victory or defeat this time has been reversed. I am the one who laughed last. I will destroy everything you cherish, including the so dot called Kiba League and those hypocritical aristocratic families and cowardly warriors. However, just as he was laughing wildly, suddenly a sword pierced through his chest from behind. The figure between the thousand pillars appeared behind him. Yuji Ban suddenly froze in place, with a bright red bloodstain oozing from the corner of his mouth. He cast a difficult glance at the tip of his sword in front of him, and then turned to look back at Qian Zhu, only to find that it was impossible to do so. Why? At this moment, the corpse lying on the ground suddenly disappeared and turned into wood. Is this the external incarnation in the Tianmu Dharma? I should have been defeated by such a trivial skill. The sword in Qian Zhu's hand pierced through Yu Ban's body. However, as he achieved the ultimate victory, there was no hint of joy on his face. Instead, it is filled with sadness and emotion. I never want to kill you. But in order to protect the Kiba League and the peaceful land created by us ourselves, we are willing to pay any price. Anyone who wants to destroy the Muyi Alliance, even my friends, brothers, and relatives, is absolutely unforgivable. Even if. It's you. In an instant, Qian Zhu suddenly drew out his sword, and Yu Ban's body fell heavily into the water pool. Zhu Jian, you won, but the paradise you want to create does not exist. People in the world cannot help themselves. The flames of war in the martial arts world will never cease. After saying these words, Yuzabin finally closed his eyes. The unparalleled twin heroes of the chaotic era of the Warring States period, standing at the pinnacle of countless warriors, the only man who can rival the god of warriors among the thousands of pillars Yuji Ban passed away here. Chapter 8 Nine-Tailed Catastrophe You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The entire venue fell silent for a moment, completely silent. Although it was just the beginning of the creation, it made all viewers feel a sense of tragedy and epic. 
The fateful battle between Qian Zhu Jian and Yukibin touches the hearts of everyone. Especially after hearing the words spoken by two people. It can be understood that these two close friends who once wanted to change the world and create the future together, now have to face the pain of life and death. Yumashing also sighed and said, this is the true way. In the face of the path one is pursuing, even if it is their only close friend or former brother, they have to go their separate ways. In the end, it's just a matter of different choices. Host Chao Liqiang also nodded and said, Yi Yu described this battle so well that it seemed like everyone was there, sensing the strength and terror of the two people, as well as the pain and entanglement deep inside their hearts. The entire audience on site and in the live broadcast room were all discussing and creating an uproar. Yuji Ban, did you just die like this? Although I don't quite understand his choice, it seems that he must have his own reasons, right? Perhaps he knows more than Qian Zhu Jian. I think it's understandable because his words are also reasonable. Even if we establish the Kiba League, can we really achieve permanent peace? Don't forget, there are also the other four major allies in the martial arts world. As long as they don't unite for a day, there will definitely be disputes and wars. Even if it were unified, what would happen? With the power of Qian Zhu Jian and Uzi Ban, unifying the world may not be impossible, right? But Qian Zhu Jian wouldn't do that because it's just a violent solution to problems. What's wrong with violent solutions? Sometimes, in order to achieve peace, such absolute measures must be taken. So, it seems that you are the group of Yuji Ban. Apart from discussing the right and wrong choices of two people, more people are regretting the outcome. Is Yuzubin just dying like this? It's really heartbreaking. Yes, he is also a proud and unparalleled figure of his generation, but unfortunately he encountered Qian Zhu Jian. It should be said that success is a thousand pillars, and defeat is a thousand pillars. However, I can also understand that Qian Zhu Jian is guarding the common dream of the two people back then. Even if the person who wants to destroy it now is Yu Ban, he cannot. In his eyes, in his heart, Mai Meng was already a sacred existence, and the people inside were his true friends, brothers, and family. Just look at how resolute his final gaze is, you can understand his mood. This ending caused a huge uproar both on site and in the live broadcast room. At this moment, the full moon shines in the sky, reflecting on the world. The originally flat land has turned into a cliff and waterfall, with deep valleys and rivers below. Qian Zhu looked at the body of Yuji Ban and remained silent for a moment, unable to say anything. At this moment, the screen zooms out, and suddenly, time flies and time flies like a shuttle. This place, known as the Valley of the End in later generations, has undergone an instant change, and no trace of the epic war of the past can be seen. On both sides of the valley waterfall, Two huge stone statues have been cast and carved by later generations. Exactly Qian Zhu Jian and Yu Zhi Ban. The figures of two people, shuttling through time, complement each other with the huge stone statue now. Just this scene immediately made everyone feel the passage of time and the changes of the times Yu Masheng also felt a movement in his heart. Has this opened a new chapter? Looking at the appearance of the Valley of Ending, it has been many years since then. These two stone statues seem to be telling the passage of time. Zhao Liqiang also sighed, everything will eventually pass away, only time will last forever. Subsequently, Yi Yu's brushstroke changed, and the screen instantly changed again. This time, the perspective is truly coming to the Mu Yi League. The same full moon. Blooming with the same radiance. However, it is already another time and space. In the tranquil and peaceful village of Kiba, many warriors and ordinary people are leisurely taking walks, living a peaceful life. Suddenly. Roar. A roar shattered the tranquility between heaven and earth. Boom boom. Boom boom. Boom. The whole earth began to tremble violently, as if some natural disaster had struck this world. Subsequently, in the stunned eyes of everyone, under the full moon, 
a huge and terrifying figure completely appeared, filling everyone's vision. So, that's among the nine major demons in heaven and earth, the most powerful nine-tailed demon fox. How could it suddenly appear in the Mu Yi League? Suddenly, the entire Mu Yi League was in chaos, with countless ordinary people, old and weak women and children screaming and fleeing in all directions. That nine-tailed demon fox just wagged its tail, causing earth and sky shaking, with its power destroying everything. And at this moment, countless warriors and knights from the Woodleaf Alliance have long been ready to take action. Although it was a sudden disaster, these warriors are well dot trained and ready to fight in an instant. At this moment, the audience saw the true essence of Mu Yi Meng in Yi Yu's writing. Those warriors, one by one, fly over the eaves and walls, move swiftly, either barehanded, holding long swords, or using various hidden weapons, and even more so, they can use the power of the five elements escape technique. However, unlike traditional gold, wood, water, fire, and earth, these warriors use the power of wind, thunder, water, fire, and earth. This scene countless warriors have been advancing one after another, launching a counterattack against the nine-tailed demon fox caused by the natural disaster, guarding the Muyi League. Instantly once again shook the hearts of all viewers. Chapter 9 Yuan Ri Slash Third Generation Fire Heavenly Lord You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Fists and Feet, Weapons, Hidden Weapons Five Elements Escape Technique Various Dazzling and Overwhelming Martial Arts Moves Poured Out Wildly, Fiercely Converging Towards the Body of the Nine-Tailed Demon Fox. This scene alone is enough to shake the hearts of all viewers. After all, it is difficult to see such scenes in ordinary martial arts novels. Not to mention the Nine-Tailed Demon Fox, even a legendary city where everyone can practice martial arts and everyone has made achievements, it makes everyone yearn for it. So, is that the current Kiba League? Surprisingly, so many warriors appeared in an instant. This is what we call well-trained. Sure enough, the Woodleaf Alliance created by Qian Zhu Jian and Yu Zhi Ban has developed and grown over such a long period of time, and has now become a complete system. The appearance of hundreds or even thousands of warriors at the same time is too magnificent. Indeed, this is the first time I have seen such a scene. However, it seems that with so many warriors besieging together, the nine-tailed demon fox has not been harmed at all. After all, it is the leader of the nine major demons in the world, and the power of the nine-tailed demon fox is inevitably unimaginable. No, when it comes to that, what about the two men who could hold the nine-tailed demon fox with their fingers, Qian Zhu Jian and Yu Zhi Ban? The two of them. After all, they are standing at the peak of heaven and earth, and ordinary warriors cannot be compared, can they? Indeed, at that level, relying solely on quantity is completely incomparable. Look! The nine-tailed demon fox is raging again. He seems to have been provoked. I don't know if the Woodleaf Alliance can withstand it. At this point, Qian Zhu Jian should have died for a long time, right? The pen in Yi Yu's hand never stopped, constantly tracing the magnificent scenes according to the memory. That's right. What he is writing now is the beginning of all future stories. The Nine Tales Rebellion. However, in the worldview of this martial arts novel, this major event is referred to as Nine-Tailed Cataclysm. I saw him walking with his pen, and each scene seemed to flow out of his pen, delicate and vivid, making everyone feel as if they were there. Especially, after rendering, it transforms into a picture, which is even more exciting to watch. However, although there are many warriors in front of the Mu Yi League, none of them are opponents of the Nine-Tailed Demon Fox. It seems that the entire Mu Yi League is in danger. The warriors were also panting heavily, with pale faces and cold sweat streaming down their faces. Not good. That nine-tailed demon fox is too powerful to withstand just by relying on our own strength. Even so, we must never give up. We are warriors of the Mu Yi League, and we have long vowed to fight to the death and protect the safety of the Mu Yi League. That being said, 
The nine-tailed demon fox is not something we can fight against. Lord Huitian, haven't you arrived yet? At this moment. There was an old man with grey temples and wrinkles on his face, dressed in martial arts attire, holding a refined steel iron rod, and leading his troops forward. Before the water gate arrives, we must first resist the attack of the nine-tailed fox. The warriors suddenly changed their faces and exclaimed in surprise, it's the third generation of fire heavenly lord. At this moment, Yi Yu also waved his pen and introduced the identity of the person next to the screen. The third generation of the fire heavenly lord of the wood leaf alliance Yuan Rijian. His arrival immediately boosted everyone's morale and made their blood boil. And although Yuan Rijian was old, he was indeed a true powerhouse. When he saw the nine-tailed demon fox raging in the Woodleaf League, he couldn't help but let out a roar, like thunder. Then, waving the refined steel iron rod in his hand, he suddenly attacked the nine-tailed demon fox fiercely. Boom! With a loud bang, the refined steel iron rod in Yuan Risen's hand suddenly became longer. It fiercely bombarded the massive body of the nine-tailed demon fox. Yuan Risen let out a roar, and his powerful internal energy, Jinyuan, erupted in an instant, like an inch of force bursting into the sky and exploding with a loud bang. Bang! Surprisingly, he directly pushed the nine-tailed demon fox out of the Mu Yi League. And Yuan Rijian waved his iron rod and flew away, chasing the demon fox. At this moment, the scene also gave the refined steel rod a close dot up. Yuan Ri beheaded his personal divine weapon, whose name was Diamond Rui Stick. At this moment, the entire audience was once again boiling. Yu Masheng also smiled and said, Has the third generation of Fire Heavenly Lord appeared? And it's the original third generation, which means that the Mu Yi Meng has at least been passed down to the fourth generation. Yuan Risen, this name is a bit domineering. Does it mean that even the sun can be chopped down? Zhao Lichang also said, the water gate he mentioned should be the fourth generation fire heavenly lord, right? I don't know what kind of person he is. Just looking at this Yuan Ri slash, although it's not as powerful as Qian Zhu Jian and Yu Zhi Ban, this diamond Rui stick technique can actually fly the nine-tailed demon fox, and its strength is also unparalleled. And countless viewers in the live broadcast room exclaimed in surprise. Sleeping trough, awesome. Is this the third generation fire heavenly lord of the Mu Yi League? Yuan Risen, this name is so domineering. However, it seems that he is also getting old. No wonder he abdicated and gave way to the wise. Before the fourth generation fire heavenly lord came out, he could only personally step forward and resist the nine-tailed demon fox. But he only pushed out the nine-tailed demon fox, probably not as strong as the nine-tailed demon fox. If this continues, it is likely that the fourth generation of Fire Heavenly Lord will have to take action. It's really exciting. What kind of hero will the fourth generation Fire Heavenly Lord be? At this moment, the nine-tailed demon fox, completely enraged, suddenly devoured the power of heaven and earth, unleashed the demonic energy all over its body, and roared wildly in the sky. The energy converged wildly, compressed to the extreme, and turned into a terrifying shell of energy. Boom! Everything around collapsed and shattered in an instant. Yi Yu immediately noted on the side the strongest killing move of the nine-tailed demon, named Bombardment. Chapter 10 Thunder Flying Technique You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. The enraged nine-tailed demon fox instantly unleashed unimaginable terrifying power. This move, with a thunderous barrage, changes the color of the entire world. Everything around, flying sand and stones, roaring winds. The earth crumbled, trees were uprooted, and the warriors who were originally besieging at close range were blown away directly. Yuan Rijian and other warriors couldn't help but change their faces as they watched this scene. No, not good. That's from the nine-tailed demon fox. Shockwave Cannon Yuan Rijian's face was covered in cold sweat, and he knew that his own strength was not enough to deal with this move. 
he was extremely anxious in the depths of his heart. Only silently calling out that name. The fourth generation of fire heavenly lord, how could he not have come? Shuemen, where the hell are you? At this moment. All the audience seemed to be extremely nervous with Yi Yu's pen. That explosive move, you can tell at a glance, as long as it bursts out, it is enough to destroy everything. And Yuan Rijian's strength seems unstoppable. At this moment, the name that was eagerly anticipated and called upon by everyone in the Kiba League became the last savior and hope. What kind of person is that man named Shui Men, the fourth generation fire heavenly lord? At this critical moment. As you see, the nine-tailed demon fox's thunderous cannon is about to erupt. Suddenly. A huge, pitch-black figure descended from the sky. Suddenly falling down with a loud crash, it turned out to be a living creature that suppressed the nine-tailed demon fox under its body. Boom boom. Boom boom. Bang. The whole earth was shaking, and before it could erupt, a thunderous cannon exploded on the body of the nine-tailed demon fox, instantly causing him to roar and scream. However, he was only injured and still not severely injured. And everyone's gaze fell on the hero who descended from the sky. The first thing everyone saw was an unparalleled giant toad. With a stroke of his pen, Yi Yu provided a note for this toad. One of the three sacred sites, Miamu Xianshan and the spirit beast Xianclam, is named. Wen Tai. Just the appearance of this spirit beast fairy clam made all the audience boil with excitement, causing a commotion. Above that fairy clam, there was a figure standing with a clasped chest, furrowed brows, but still looking at everything around with confidence. Everyone saw this young man, just a weak crown year, with sword eyebrows and starry eyes. He was exceptionally handsome, wearing a cloak embroidered with red flames, exuding a majestic and domineering aura. Exactly, the fourth generation of the Fire Heavenly Lord of the Mu Yi League, named Feng Shui Gate. As soon as this person appeared, the entire audience on site and in the live broadcast room were in an uproar, with constant noise. Especially those female audience members have launched a flower craze one by one. Wow, ah! Is that the fourth generation Fire Heavenly Lord? He's so handsome. Moreover, he has become the Fire Heavenly Lord at such a young age. How talented he must be. He is truly a male god. I announce that my new husband has appeared, he is the Feng Shui Gate. And the male audience was equally shocked and excited. The fourth generation of Fire Heavenly Sovereign, Feng Shui Gate. Sai, this appearance is really impressive. The one who suppressed the nine-tailed demon fox under his feet was actually the spirit beast immortal clam from one of the three holy sites, Miamu Xian Mountain. I remember that the magic of the thousand pillars was learned in one of the three holy sites, right? It seems that the fourth generation of the fire heavenly lord inherited his power. It's not necessarily the same, after all, there are three holy sites that may not be the same. However, this appearance is indeed full of domineering and handsome. And, I have to admit, this fourth generation fire heavenly lord is really handsome, he's really on par with me. Cut it off, just blow it off. Not only handsome, but also able to become the fire heavenly lord at such a young age. He is still the leader of the Woodleaf Alliance's martial arts alliance. How impressive this is. His talent and martial arts skills must be at their peak. That's needless to say, although the third generation Fire Heavenly Lord was powerful, he had no way to deal with the nine-tailed demon fox's earth-shattering cannon. But as soon as the fourth generation Fire Heavenly Lord came out, he immediately suppressed it. Can it be said that this Feng Shui gate is even more powerful than the Thousand Pillars and Yuji Ban back then? Yi Yu smiled slightly. He wants exactly this kind of effect. Only with discussion can there be heat and popularity. Of course, he will not change the settings of the original work, otherwise it may easily lead to the collapse and chaos of combat power. Although the original work was already a bit messy but here, he will also try his best to make everything round. 
Under Yi Yu's pen, he continued to quickly describe a fascinating and unparalleled story. Wen Tai, well done. The fourth generation of fire heavenly master Feng Shui Gate said to the spirit beast immortal clam Wen Tai at the foot of the Miao Mu Xian mountain. Wen Tai was actually holding a huge pipe in his mouth, but a cold sweat also flowed from his forehead. Hey, Shui Men, even I can't be the opponent of the nine-tailed fox. I know, it's just a temporary use of your power to suppress him. Next, it's the real battle. At this moment, the Feng Shui Gate suddenly landed on the body of the nine-tailed demon fox. Then, in an instant, I looked up and my cloak fluttered in the wind. Carrying the title of Fire Heavenly Lord, I will never lose. In the next moment, the Feng Shui Gate suddenly unleashed its unique martial arts skills. Under the watchful eye of the crowd, his figure disappeared with the nine-tailed demon fox. Instant transfer. Beyond imagination. Amidst countless stunned viewers, Yi Yu swung his pen and revealed the true essence of Feng Shui's unparalleled skill. Its name is Flying Thunder Instant Sky Technique.